No, in this video. OK, so ladies and gentlemen, when doing a systems of three variables, what I'm going to do is remember the first thing I want to do, we need to eliminate a variable. First thing I always like to do is I like to label my equations. All right? It's always the first thing I always want to do is label my equations. Now the next thing is we have a system of three variables. The next thing I want to do is I want to get it down to a system of two variables. So to do that, the first thing I need to do is eliminate a variable. And the best variable to eliminate is one that's going to have a positive or a negative 1 as its coefficient. And really, preferably, I would like to have one that when it has a positive, just a positive 1. So by looking at our variables, I could choose to eliminate z. I, or I could also choose to eliminate y. It doesn't matter which way you do this. But let's choose, for this example, to eliminate this y. So the way that I'm going to eliminate is I'm going to take equation 1 and equation 2. So to eliminate, um, let's take equation 1. So equation 1 and equation 2. Equation 1 is 3x minus 2y plus z equals 1. Equation 2 is negative x plus y minus z equals 2. So to eliminate the y in these two by elimination, what do I need to multiply uh, my second equation by? Two. Positive 2, right? And you need to make sure you multiply everything by positive 2. OK, so then I do that. I get 1. So I'm just going to rewrite them. So I get 3x minus 2y plus z equals 1. Multiply by 2, so now I get a negative 2x plus 2y minus 2z equals 4, right? Add them up, so I get x, 0y, um, minus z equals 5. So when I get my answer between that, I'm going to label that equation A. So that is my solution A. Now I need to eliminate y between equations 2 and 3. So I write down my equations 2 and 3. So 2, again, is negative x plus y minus z equals 2. And equation 3 is 5x plus 2y plus 10z equals 39. And we look at that and we say, all right, to use elimination to eliminate y, I need to multiply my top equation by negative 2. So I multiply the top equation by negative 2. I'm sorry? Question? That's equation 3. You first eliminate your two equations, then you eliminate your other two. But equation 2 is remaining the same because I'm eliminating this y. Yes? OK. So let's go ahead and solve through this. So therefore, I get negative. So I get 2 is going to remain the same again. So I'm sorry, 2 is going to change. So it's going to be negative 2x plus 2y, or no, I'm sorry, positive 2x minus 2y plus 2z equals negative 4. And then now 3 is going to be the same. So it's going to be 5x um, plus 2y plus 10z equals 39. All right, so now when I solve, so I add these up now. So that was equation 3. Add them up, and I get 7x plus 12z equals 35, right? So that's what I call my equation B. So now, if you guys notice, when I look at equation B and A, what are the only variables of A and B? x and z, all right? So by using my elimination of my three variables, I got it down to two variables. And that's what I want to do. I want to get it down to a system of two equations of only two variables. So now I have x minus y, or x minus z equals 5. And I have 7x plus 12z equals 35. Now, guys, you can use elimination, or you can also use substitution, all right? I'm kind of actually a substitution fan, so let's plug in, uh, let's solve for this. So if I say, I could say A could also be x equals 5 plus z, right? So if I was going to use substitution for this, I could say 7 times um, 5 plus z equals, I'm sorry, plus 12z equals 35. So therefore, I get 35 plus 7z equals 12z oh, geez, 
plus 12z equals 35. Combine those together, you get 19z. Subtract 35, you get z equals 0. Right, Dimitri? z equals 0. Does everybody follow me with that? So then you plug 0 into the back of that equation. And yeah, you're going to get, um, so you say x equals 5 plus 0. So you can now say x equals 5, right? Yep, so you're going to have, well, you're going to have, yes, you're going to have an intersection. So therefore, now we know what 0 is, we know what 5 is. I just now need to plug those into one of these equations. Just pick one. Whatever one you want to pick, pick one. Because you need to still need to find the value of y. We only have x and 0, or x and z. We'll talk about that in a second. So you have, what you're going to want to do is plug all these values in, all right? Um, so when I plug in 5, let's plug it into equation 1. All right, you have 3 times 5 minus 2 times y plus z, which is 0, equals 1. So therefore, you get 15 minus 2y equals 1. Um, subtract 15. So negative 2y equals negative 14. y equals positive 7. All right, so your solution, your solution is going to be y equals 7, z equals 0, and x equals 5. Do we have any questions? We're not going to talk about graphing with these, but I'll give you a quick little explanation after the video. But does that mean a question on this? That's it. Done. Sweet. Bless you. OK, for these type of problems, ladies and gentlemen, um, come on, shut off.